Remembered as the mesmerizing European beauty, Greta Tissen appeared in countless magazine pages during the 50s. All that attention would lead her to pack her bags and move to Hollywood. But soon after arriving, the actress's life would spiral out of control. Keep on watching to discover 10 shocking facts that you didn't already know about the famous Greta Tissen. Number 10. She had unrealistic body measurements. Greta was born on the 30th of March 1927 in Denmark. Since her early years, Greta was seen as a mesmerizing young lady thanks to her beauty and her body measurements, which would almost resemble a 1940s Barbie doll. Greta wanted to make the most out of her beauty, so she entered a beauty competition in Denmark in 1952. Surprisingly, she easily won the competition and was crowned Miss Denmark. This was all thanks to her extreme body measurements at 40-24-36. All this soon made her one of the most popular pinup models in Denmark. But the recognition she was receiving was nothing compared to what she would receive when she decided to step foot in the land of cinematography, Hollywood. Since Greta also had a love for films, besides just being a model for magazines, her career would see a rise in America. In Hollywood, she meets her first American love interest called Johnny Mayer, and the two of them would end up enjoying a very emotional romance. Both of them separated when Johnny Mayer went back on dating his ex-girlfriend Patsy Lydon. Number 9. Greta Nearly Got Deported From The U.S. As Greta was becoming more and more famous by appearing in movies, she decided to follow the trend of going platinum blonde like other famous actresses of that time. In the beginning, she wasn't sure if she would look good with blonde hair, so she experimented with a blonde wig at first. Even though the new color suited her, the fake wig would make her look like she had two heads, which was pretty hilarious. After that, Greta just decided to dye her hair once and for all. During that same period, the actress got charged with two visitor permit violations and got informed that she needed to leave the state of America. But of course, Greta would never leave the place that opened so many doors for her and gave her the lavish lifestyle she always wanted. At the time when her permit had expired, she was working in motion pictures, so that somehow saved her from being deported. Number 8. Tommy Manville Asks Her To Be His 11th Wife after facing such a terrible struggle with the U.S. Embassy, Greta Tissen continued her acting career and at the same time, her love journey. She became the new dream girl of famous actor Michael Rennie and even stunned Hal Hayes with her beauty. She even caught the attention of Manny Frank, who wanted something serious with the inspiring actress. Sadly, nothing between the two ever happened and she started dating Tommy Manville, even though he was still in the process of divorcing his 10th wife, Pat Gaston. When the actress was on vacation with him at El Morocco, Tommy Manville proposed to Greta to be his 11th wife. But since both of them were not used to being fully committed to just one person, they decided to separate and continue meeting other people. In 1957, she went to the bridge on the River Kwai event in New York. Here, Greta meets a bunch of socialites and celebrities and starts opening up to new opportunities. Her connections and good networking skills led her to even bigger opportunities, and Greta ends up becoming very rich. Number 7. The Actress Got Hit By A Truck In 1958 Soon after reaching fortune and fame, she sued a truck worker for $50,000 after being hit by his truck. Greta was ruthless and frustrated that her life was put at risk all because of a careless worker. Nevertheless, this didn't stop her from living the lavish lifestyle that was sponsored by the fortunes she made from acting. She went off to date millionaire Herbert Kahn, who was a close relative of Otto H. Kahn, the guy known as the Wall Street Baron. Greta soon broke up with Herbert, only to get back with him again two months later. Number 6. She Had A Secret Affair With Cary Grant the actress must have hated being dedicated to one man only. Even though she was dating Herbert, she went off to have a secret love affair with actor Cary Grant. After the whole scandal was found out, she ended up splitting with both Herbert and Cary. In the summer of 1959, Greta continued to marry her third husband, George R. Starr. The couple married shortly after meeting each other in a luxurious resort in Long Island. 
It was even reported that the ceremony was completed by the Montauk Justice of the Peace. At the time, everyone was pretty shocked that Greta was just 27 years old and marrying for the third time. Things in the marriage started falling apart shortly after, when Greta would refuse to have a baby with the actor, for the reason being that she didn't have her charming body to degenerate. Number 5. Greta Gets Arrested For Shoving A Police Officer after reaching fame and fortune, it came to no surprise that all this recognition would get in Greta's head, up to the point of her getting arrested. Even though the truth was never found out, police officer Jerry Jackson put her in handcuffs after she allegedly shoved him violently. However, Greta defended herself, saying the police officer tried to kiss her by force, so she had no other option but to shove him away. After the arrest, she pleaded guilty and was fined $50, which was pennies for the actress. In the same year, she was arrested once more for violating traffic and given a $25 fine. But Greta didn't seem to care about all this and just continued her acting career. Number 4. Her husband was embarrassed to be seen with her in public. It was obvious that her marriage to George Starr would eventually lead to a divorce, but surprisingly, they just separated for a while. During this time, Greta goes off to date Tommy Gallagher and even starts getting to know Lance Fuller. In 1961, Greta finally divorced Starr after accusing him that he would refuse to be seen with her in public and even insisted to sit at separate tables when they went to dine in restaurants. These allegations were strange, but because Greta had a witness, the judge gave her the right to a divorce. For the next year, Greta would go on to date several other men until she got married to Ted Gunther. The two had a huge wedding celebration and even went to a luxurious honeymoon trip to Oceanport, New Jersey to celebrate their love. Number 3. Playboy Magazine and Greta Tissen Ended Up Blaming Each Other in 1963, Greta had a weird clash with Playboy magazine. Both of them made headlines of accusing each other of something truly ridiculous that a serious company such as Playboy should have not even dealt with. Greta claimed that she was offered to pose nude for Playboy magazine but she refused them because she had a sense of morals and respected her body. However, Playboy slapped her hard when they claimed that she was lying and she had begged to work with them, which according to them, they denied her. When the strange clash between Greta and Playboy had been forgotten by the company, she started having problems with her fourth marriage as her husband moved to another state for business purposes. Number 2. Greta couldn't even count how many times she had been in a relationship. After years of failed relationships and drama with the men she dated, the actress finally found peace in her fourth marriage with Gunther. Luckily, her marriage with Gunther didn't end in divorce, and they were caring and loving to each other. In 1968, she discovered that she was pregnant and soon gave birth to a daughter, which she named Genevieve Juliet. Number 1. Greta moved to New York after retiring. After reaching a mature age, she decides to take it slow in the film industry and decides to move to New York with her family. During the 70s, she published her book called The Liberated Mother and Daughter. After that, her name started fading away from the limelight. Greta recently passed away at the age of 90 in her home in New York at the beginning of 2018. The cause of death was pneumonia. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this to appear in your feed. Thank you for watching and remember to stay safe.